Ah, what a beautiful moon. Oh, and what a beautiful building we have over there. Oh, there's an axe in here. <laughs> Seems like an unsuspicious place to be, so I, I guess I guess I just I just wanna be here in the middle of this axe and what? Oh my god! You know what? That place over there, that is a hostile place. Which is why I'm moving to this other place here where I can finally be <laughs> at the center of this very axe, where it's probably much safer for me. Okay, people, enough silliness for one video. It's enough, enough is enough. So, uh, what I have here is a system with a player detector uh, under the X. I am using a uh, puffer fish in here and then I connect it using uh, wire down there. So, yeah, if I trigger it, you can see that uh, the system will fire uh, rockets, uh, explosive rockets that can damage the player. Uh, and yeah, you don't even uh, need to open a crack on the wall to do that. Uh, and uh, on this side, yeah, I have pretty much the same thing, same detector in here. But now I have uh, a tileable system on the other side, and it actually opens uh, the it actually opens the uh, the wall in order to shoot the. <laughs> and as long as you as long as the player is alive or something is being detected by the. Uh, by the buffer fish in there, then the system will keep firing. So let's take a look at how these systems work. The first one is very easy to understand. You can even have a button and when a player clicks the button, he gets a rocket to his face. <laughs> uh, Alright, and this is as simple as a dispenser with uh, fireworks or, or rockets inside. They have to have star if you want the explosion to happen. And yeah, you click the button, the, the rocket goes through a solid block. This only happens uh, if the, the the dispenser is facing a horizontal position. If it's vertical, it doesn't work. It doesn't go through blocks, unfortunately. Uh, but this is a very nice behavior that only works now in Minecraft 1.15. I'm in snapshots, as, as you guys can see. On this other side, we have a different uh, approach. It's a little bit more complex, but what it does is it opens uh, the it opens the, the wall before shooting. So it works like this. When it's about to close, it shoots the... Uh, the projectile and then yeah you can cause explosions and yeah you can tile this design this is what i'm using uh, on that second one on the right side there so yeah you can basically uh, extend this uh, just copy everything that you see in here you know with the observers and the blocks just make exact copies side by side of this and this will work uh and the way to activate this if you have uh if, um, if you have many of them is to basically just have a repeater behind this block in here and it works with a four tick pulse so you can just basically extend a line here have many many copies of the circuit all set set all of those on, on four ticks and then you can just send a one tick pulse in here and it works pretty fast actually finally we have this design over here uh, which is a lot more complicated uh, but see what it does All right, this one doesn't have an explosion because because of the things that I mentioned. As you can see here, uh, the dispenser is facing downwards. Like you can see the, the hole <laughs> if you if we look through here. Uh, but now we have a slime block in here, and the difference is the distance that we can get rockets to go. Uh, for a comparison, check this out. So let's see how far this goes. So yeah, about there. You can you can remember that. And now if we use this one. We can go much, much farther. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have the, about the same fuse time, so they explode at the same after the same amount of time. Uh, but what the slime blocks do, uh, does is two things. First, uh, it changes the direction of the rocket. So this rocket is supposed to go downwards, but it, it forces it to go forward. Uh, and second, it speeds it up, so it goes about uh, twice as far if you use these slime blocks. So yeah, this is not new. People already knew about that, but the, dif the difference now is that we can con better control the directions that those things go. And uh, this piston layout is pretty cool. Watch what the pistons do, guys. Yeah, and this was not, not easy to come up with uh, in the beginning because this guy wants to stick to this block. Uh, by the way, if I, if I change this into uh, a regular block in there, uh, pay attention to what happens to this land block. So now this land block attaches to this guy in there. Uh, yeah, it, it only happens in one direction, I believe. But uh, this is interesting. And we have to use this swapping swapping thing in here. Otherwise, uh, those blocks will attach and we are not going to be able to uh, to close the, the wall and make it seamless. So 
Yeah, but this one uh, cannot be used to attack. As I mentioned before, the, the rocket will explode uh, when it touches other blocks. What it can be used for uh, is to send signals uh, at a far distance. Uh, and you can also, I, I will also show you guys how to send signals uh, horizontally uh, if you want to use uh, the slime blocks in an easy way. So all you, all you need to do is to have your dispenser um, up here. And then I'll get input from here and this will serve as an updater and finally this line I'm just copy from here because I wasn't actually prepared to do this tutorial I just came up with this so all right uh, flight duration 3 that's okay uh, first let's see how far we go without uh, these line blocks right so we go as far as there you can see that let's see this again and now with this line block yeah, I can kind of see that uh, we went way, way farther. See, you can see <laughs> about about twice as far. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, if you want to do this uh, horizontally, uh, I mean uh, vertically, it's not the same thing, guys. Unfortunately, we have to come up with something else. So let me show you this. I don't think you guys need a tutorial for this because those are all one wide and you can copy these from pause in the video. Uh, all right. So, uh, if you want to do this vertically, uh, one way to do this is to have this guy be horizontal and then have a piston in there. And I already know the timings. You just need to power this guy and this one after uh, two or uh, three or four game takes, doesn't matter. All right. And then, of course, you need these guys in here. All right. So, watch what's going to happen now. Uh, we can also have the button in there so it goes diagonal yeah in order for this guy to go um to go straight up you need another block to be in front of it so if you have another block in there you can do this this was actually shown to me by sholdy freak through a tweet he sent to me so yeah this goes uh vertically and uh it's supposed to be precise but if you don't have the block in there it doesn't work all right, uh, and finally, if you try to use the explosive ones, let's see what happens. If you try to use the explosive ones on this, let's get rid of all of those. I don't know why I did all of those. Uh, yeah, explosive ones. Yeah, so this one will work because, as I mentioned before, uh, the, the rockets can be inside blocks. It doesn't matter as long as this is horizontal. Uh, but if it's... Um, vertical let's see if this if this uh yeah it can still go diagonal and have the explosion but i don't think you can go uh straight vertical yeah it explodes here it doesn't work yeah i don't know why these behaviors are, are different but i'm sure that uh, if we complain to mojang they will basically remove everything that is fun about this so i will not complain i will not say anything <laughs> guys i hope that you guys enjoyed and possibly learned something uh, and if you enjoyed this, maybe leave a like. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.